Say hey everybody, countertop guy. Uh, just want to make a quick, real quick video um, about GameStop uh, and their Power Up Rewards uh, program. And I was on there and just looking around and noticed that they started putting uh, NES cartridges and Super Nintendo cartridges uh, on their Power Up Rewards uh, prize list. And um, <laughs> The more I look at it, the more games that just GameStop just um, disgusts me for putting such dinky prizes. Some of them are good, but this right here really, really bothers me. Um, I'm looking now, and they want thirty thousand points for a. Mortal Kombat Super Nintendo cart. Not boxed, not sealed. Um, just just the cart itself. And they stick limited edition on there. I, you know, and then underneath it says all games we sell have been tested, proven to work. Uh, the games cannot be guaranteed and are sold as is. People if you just go on eBay and look, a copy of Mortal Kombat is ten bucks. And also, I'm looking on Power of Awards, and they have a copy of Super Star Wars. Eight dollars. <laughs> There's no limited edition about this. Um, Spy Hunter for NES. What is that? Like three dollars. So, this is just, I can't get over this. Um, you know, it takes a lot of money and a lot of time to, um, you know, get a bunch of points um, for your power, you know, from GameStop, the Power Awards. And it, abs it is absolutely mind-blowing how they can charge so many points for something that costs absolutely hardly nothing. Um, you know, like the, really and truly, the more I look at it, the more I'm thinking, you know, really and truly, the only things that's really worth it on there are like the posters. Um, you know, say there are a few other things that are somewhat worth, you know, the points. But when I saw this, I you know, and they're putting more um, retro games. Uh, I believe they're going to have a power glove with the glove ball game. Um, sensors not included, by the way. And Lord knows what they're going to charge for that. And it's just absolutely mind blowing. So if you, if you, if there's anybody out there that has a power awards. Um, account go look at this I mean it's it's mind-blowing I mean these games don't cost no more than ten dollars um they have a copy of Killer Instinct uh, for 26,000 points let's see let's see how much Killer Instinct is um, I don't think it's very much uh, but this is just this is ridiculous, folks. Please do not waste your money and and do not waste your power awards points on this. Um, it's just not worth it. So I hope you guys uh, see that uh, that these retro games are not rare or anything. Um, just. It's ridiculous. Ten, yeah, ten dollars uh, is basically what it costs for a copy of Killer Instinct. So, you know, just uh, go on there and uh, check it out for yourself. It's really mind blowing uh, what GameStop is charging for these games. Uh, you know, power of rewards. Uh, but hey, you know, if you have a million GameStop points, and you don't, you know, you know, be all be my guest. But um, I've spent a lot of money at GameStop, 
and I've only, I, I had only accumulated, uh, I believe, close to 16,000 points. Now, granted, I didn't, I didn't shop there every week, but you know, I do. There aren't any game stores around where I live except for Best Buy, and it's like, it's several minutes north, and um, there's a there's like a GameStop right around the corner, and that's it. That's all I have to choose from. So I yeah I have spent some money at GameStop, but this right here is this is so sad. What they're charging for these items on some, on some of these items. Uh, so if you got a, an account, go check it out and uh, tell me what you think. Um, you know about these overpriced uh, items on GameStop. And uh, just let me know what you think. And uh, comment, subscribe, or whatever down below. And uh, just let me know. See ya.